Good morning, Pilatinis. Let's begin our session. Um, I'm going to start actually right now, right at the back, so we can do majority of the Pilates session, which is, you know, uh, heat work, foot work, kicks, balancing, some push-ups. And sometimes we don't have enough uh, time to do in our back session, so today I'm going to start backwards, all right? So let's get into our mats. Do a couple of warm-ups here. Let's see if you can see me there. I think so. Good. You go down a bit this way and then later I can put the screen up. So today I have my props. I might need them. I might not. I'm just going to leave them handy in case you need them as well. I have a cushion and I have the big bolster around right there. And I also grab a strap. Uh, if you don't have a strap, this is actually not a strap. My straps are in the studio. This is a belt. Uh, you can grab any belt you have that could help you. And that will be perfect. So uh, lie down onto the ground. We're going to start a little bit here into a very easy roll down because we're still a little bit cold. We're just starting. Bring your arms in front of you. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, with the knees bent, you're gonna curl down. Vamos a empezar a exhalar y a irnos poco a poquito hacia abajo. Poco a poquito hacia abajo, hacia abajo. Rodillas dobladas, yendo despacio, go slowly. And finally, down to the ground. Now, in here, sometimes your neck feels odd on the ground. You can grab into your prop and put your head underneath something this will be like a block and makes it a little bit more comfortable so what we're gonna do right now is just do a little bit of warm-ups and clock bring the knees into your chest grab each hand with each knee cada mano en cada rodilla you're gonna take a deep inhale squeeze the knees in towards you with a lot of stabilization without moving the pelvis on the exhale clockwise circle with both of the knees warming up into your back Inhale, bring the knees back to center. And then the exhale, one more clockwise circle with the knees together. See how the pelvis is not moving. Inhale, and on the exhale, clockwise circle. Inhale, in towards you. Exhale, clockwise circle. Very, very small movements. Inhale, and last exhale, going clockwise circle. On the next inhale, bring the knees in towards you. Counterclockwise on the other. Exhale. Inhale, the knees go into your chest. Exhale, you go again. Inhale, the knees go in towards you. Exhale, do another circle. Inhale here. And exhale, circle. And let's finish in here, inhale, and exhale, hug the knees into your chest. Now bring your legs into the ground. This is a nice little warm up for the hips and for the lower back. Bring your arms along by your side, brazos a lo largo del cuerpo. And we're gonna just take the cushion aside. You can remain on the cushion if you have a special needs on your neck. Vamos a dejar las piernas al piso y quedarte con el bloque si lo necesitas. If you don't need the block, you're going to go all the way down to the floor. Start with a little bit of upper body scoops, arms by your sides. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, curling, scooping into your spoon shape level. Going up, arms extend forward, legs on the ground. On the next inhale, return upper body to the ground, arms to the floor. Exhale, go up again. Doing this more from upper abdominal muscles than the neck. Inhale, go down one more time. Exhale, get up, rise up, lift up. Inhale, go down one more time. And on the exhale, rise up, lift up, upper body scoop. Your ab, gala apple between your chin and your throat, always important. Inhale last time. 
then exhale, let's get up and rise up right here. Good. Now on the next inhale, go down, head on the floor. And here on the exhale, we're going to bring our legs into beautiful tabletop. Learning tabletop is respecting the natural curve on the lower back without letting the midsection lift off the ground. So if I put my top up, this is kind of not the greatest idea into your tabletop. That can really hurt your back. A little bit of a more Pilates integrated tabletop will be right here. I still have a little bit of natural curve, but I'm really using the abs to go and stabilize in here. Aquí sería una muy buena este, manera de hacer tu tabletop donde estoy usando todo mi abdomen para cerrar. Abdominal muscles are closed. So right here, we're gonna go tabletop to frog. Take a deep inhale. We're gonna open the knees, shoulder width. Heels go towards the ground, sorry, towards the ceiling and together. And on the exhale, you go into tabletop. Let's do this again. On the next inhale, you go in frog legs, heels together. Exhale back to frog. Inhale into frog. I did it backwards, sorry. Exhale into table. Inhalamos otra vez, piernitas de rana. Exhalamos, nos vamos a la mesa. Aquí también sintiendo como cada vez que me alejo con las piernas, trabajo los oblicuos y transversales. Inhale, go into frog like a bench press in the gym. Exhale, go into tabletop and feeling right in here how the work in your belly and your transverse really help you stabilizing. Inhale, one more time. Exhale, going forward. And last time, inhale. And last time, exhale. Continue with the leg work, arms by your sides. Inhale, go into frog position. And on the exhale, bring the legs up like you have a little bowl right into the inner thighs and you can squeeze it. Inhale, bench your knees like a bench press. Exhale, nice and powerful, legs up, squeeze into the tummy, wake up the belly. Inhale, inhalo, doblo. Exhalo, todo para arriba, para arriba. Inhalo. Stabilize your back. Exhale, go up, go up. Really feel into your belly. And last time, incorporating upper body scoop. Inhale. And on the exhale, you're gonna come up, lift up, scoop, everything rises. Inhale, you go down. Exhale, up again, up again. Inhale, exhale. That exhalation really squeezing into your abdomen, doing you Inhale. Exhale, go up again. Inhale. Go up again. And before we go, you can come down. Just look at me for a second, reminding you hundreds. The knees could be bent, the legs could be down. Maybe the legs up towards the ceiling. 45 degree first position, arms to the side. Preparándonos para cienes, avoiding doing this, esto no se hace, so you stay steady and the only thing moving is up and down, up and down, five and five. Five inhales, gallops of breath, five exhales, gallops of breath for your mouth. So it looks like this, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, one, two, three, four, five. What happens if your neck hurts? What you're gonna do is reach for your block, do it with the block and you can still do your hundreds, right here inhale one two three four five it doesn't matter what variations you choose 
make sure that it doesn't hurt your neck. So let's start right from here, supine legs. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, let's bring your legs up to frogs. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, head on the block or head up, rise. Begin, inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. Last one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. Four. Inhale. Exhale. One hundred. <sighs> Good news and bad news. What do you want first? Buenas noticias y malas noticias. If you feel too much the back of the neck, that means you use the wrong muscles. So that's a little bit of the bad news, but don't worry, you can develop technique. Just keep looking into this video and more cues. Good news, if you do this correctly, the first area you're gonna feel it is on the belly, obliques inside, all into the midsection. Lo vas a sentir todo en la sección del medio. What's another place you felt it? On the inner thighs as you were holding the legs. Where you shouldn't feel it is in your lower back. Tú lo hiciste bien, lo sentiste en el abdomen, la parte media, poquito de la entrepierna. Si por ahí no estuvo tan buena la técnica, lo sentiste en cuello y en espalda. Por favor, cuidado. That's the hard part to teach from internet is that I'm not seeing you to see your habits. So please be careful. Take care of your body. <sighs> Nod your head side to side, to the right, to the left, couple times. Now we're gonna go and grab into your bell. Vamos a agarrar tu fajo. We're gonna bring both legs down to the ground, ambas piernas al piso. You're gonna take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, bend the right knee in towards your chest. Open your leg, grab your foot, and right away you're gonna put your foot up towards the ceiling, doing a gentle hamstring stretch. You're gonna begin in here preparing your legs for double leg stretch and single leg stretch. Esta es nuestra preparación riquísima para lo que sigue, double leg stretch and single leg stretch. Right here, take a deep inhale, maintaining pelvis on the ground. On the exhale, bring the leg open to the right side. Less is more, you're gonna use abs, do not let the hip do that, that's a no-no. You want to stay right here and just the leg move over. You're very flexible. You might be able to do that without lifting. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Breathing into all the inner thigh and hamstring. Good. On the next inhale, bring the leg to center. Switch. Bring your arm to the side and on the exhale, stretch your IT back. Careful that you don't do a twist, it's not a twist. You actually remain with the hip on the ground and just the leg moves sideways so you can pull into IT band. Have five breaths. You're gonna need a lot of core to not let the pelvis move sideways. Vas a mantener la pelvis al centro y solo la pierna se te va de lado. Keep breathing, sigue respirando. on the next inhale you bring yourself up good on the exhale you're gonna let go circle preparations vamos a hacer preparaciones de círculos drawing perfect little circles up to the ceiling going one two pulsing breath three four five six seven eight nine and ten 
pulse, other side. Uno, dos, pulsando. Seis, siete, ocho, nueve y diez. Now take a deep inhale. You're gonna bring the leg up 90. On the exhale, you're gonna do a bigger circle and close. Inhale. And on the exhale, do a big circle and close. If you feel like the entire pelvis move, that defeats the purpose of circles. This is a no-no. So what you're gonna do is to stay up and do the circle with the hip on the ground and it's only the head of the femur rotating inside receptaculus. Let's try one more time. These are not easy technique. Plant your hands on the ground, inhale. Exhale, out, circle. Inhale, out, circle. Pelvis don't move. Inhale, out, circle. Inhale, out, circle. Other direction, in circle, inhale. Exhale, hacia adentro el círculo. Sin mover cadera, inhalo. Exhalo adentro. And por favor, remember that it's not this. It's not moving here and just the leg circles. Small for beginners. Big one for advance. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and circle, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Last time, inhale, and exhale. And finish right here, inhale, exhale, hug the knee to your chest. I know that one looked easy, it wasn't. You've never done this before, you're probably, your leg feels shaky. A lo mejor por ahí esto se vio fácil, no fue fácil, por ahí se lo hiciste bien, tienes toda la pierna temblorosa. Hug the knees to your chest for a moment. Ay, 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 ay. Good. All hip work. Esto es muchísimo trabajo en cadera. Bring the legs down onto the ground. Get your strap ready. Con tu fajo listo. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, bring the leg up, 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 up. Vas a mandar tu pierna aquí, 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 aquí. Eso. When the leg is up here, the next thing we're going to do is bring it in towards you. Hacia ti, hacia adentro. Grab in here with your strap. Vas a agarrar aquí tu pie con tu fajo. Bring the leg up. Vas a llevarte la pierna hacia arriba. And first begin with a hamstring stretch. Inicias esto con un estiramiento de cadera. Can you see the other leg, this one? How it's melting on the ground and really stretching. A lot of people might find that the leg does naturally this. If that's the case, it's better to bend it. Less stress in your body. Si por ahí no puedes mandar la pierna derechita y relajada y se te anda levantando así, mejor doblala, mucho mejor. If you're fine here, you bring the leg straight. Now, put the strap both into the left hand, left legs up. Bring your right hand on your hip, take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, allow the leg to open sideways. Vas a dejar que la pierna se abra de lado. Remember, you don't want the entire body to turn sideways. Less is more sometimes. Haciendo menos te da mejores resultados. Maybe you stay here until you find the nice stretch. If you're very flexible, you might be closer to the ground. Breathe. I think we're about 32 degrees today in Ajijic, Mexico, so I'm already sweating. 
Creo que estamos a 32 grados el día de hoy en México, entonces ya estoy así sudando. It's okay to sweat. Maybe start incorporating a little bit of a towel to wipe off the sweat. On the next inhale, regresamos al centro. Ya 32 grados, por ahí ya empezaste a sudar. Y en la exhalación vamos a dejar que la pierna, fíjate aquí, tienes mejor vista. La cadera se queda al piso, the hips stay down, and you're gonna let the leg only move to the side, and your body stays center, which is bringing a whole stretch in your IT band, and let the leg go. Head center, cabeza centrada, point the toe con la punta, y aquí, sin que se te mueva tanto la pompa de lado, you ground, hip on the ground, and stretch your IT band. Keep breathing. Lots of technique and good, well done pilates. Mucha técnica en hacer una práctica linda de pilates. Good. Breathe, stretch. Now on the next inhale, you're going to bring the leg up. On the exhale, you're gonna release your strap. Bring your pointy toe, vas a hacer punta con tu dedo. The hip stays onto the ground. La cadera se va a quedar al piso. And you start doing circles, 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 pulsing. Uno, dos, tres. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 y 10. Inhalo. And on the exhale to the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 y diez. Now, right here, bend the knee to your chest if you're too shaky. This is not easy, especially if you're tight on your hips. Take a deep inhale, kick the leg up one more time. Bigger circles, out, inhale, leg to 90. Exhale, circle, and back to the starting point. Inhale, exhale. In, exhale, out circle inhale exhale bigger circles if you're advanced inhale exhalo círculo más grande si estoy avanzado inhalo piernas de bailarina dance your legs exhale big motion hips square inhale exhale circle Inhale, or small, exhalo, también chiquitos se pueden, inhalo, longitud, piernas largas y bonitas, long, beautiful legs, exhale, go, circle, last time in, exhale, out, circle, and go up, inhale, in, circle, hacia adentro, ah. inhalo, sin mover cadera, exhalo, solo la pierna, sin tensión, inhalo, exhalo hacia adentro, inhalo, círculo hacia adentro, inhalo, exhalo, círculo hacia adentro, sin que se te mueva la pompa, inhalo, exhalo, círculo hacia adentro, you can do them small, inhale, inside circle, Inhale, exhale. Three more. Inhalo, ya sé que estás temblando. Exhalo, mucho abdomen, que no se te mueva nada más. Quieto. Inhalo, exhalo, círculo hacia adentro. Inhalo, exhalo, círculo hacia adentro. Y última vez, inhalo, exhalo, círculo. Hug the knee. And hug both knees. <sighs> Absolutely normal if you're shaking, shaking, shaking. Good. Now right from here, move the pillow outside. Bring your hands into your knees. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, come up. 
I'm gonna do it deglazed or desglosado on the exhalation. Open legs, open arms, arms peripheral view, legs first position. Inhale, you go down. Exhale. Inhale. Arriba, exhalo, sin que se te mueva la cabeza, aquí te estiras. Los brazos no se te van acá, se te quedan aquí. Haces el scoop, inhalo. Exhalo. Piernas en primera posición. First position, inhale. Exhale, go up. Inhale. Exhale, go up. Let's go right away to single leg stretch, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees to your chest. Keep the left leg into your chest, right leg straight, right here, hold. Switch to the sides. If you've never done it before, see the, la the first three and then join. Primero ve los tres primeros y luego sigues. Mano afuera, sujeta forma, inhalo. Cambio, exhalo. Inhalo. Cambio, exhalo. Inhalo. Cambio, exhalo. And faster. Vamos. Uno. Uno. Uno, uno, estira, aprieta, estira, aprieta, five, four, three, two, one, stay here, leg up, inhale, little bit of momentum with the leg, ah. we go up, Good work, ha. Huh. I really got to feel all the belly in this first sequence. Let's prepare a little bit deeper with spinal stretch for double leg stretch or threaten needle. Vamos a prepararnos un poquito más con ensartando aguja, creo que se le llama en español, y para ya después irnos otra vez a trabajo con double leg stretch, doble estiramiento de piernas. Te vas a ir un poquito hacia atrás. Fíjate que aquí no es tan importante que te abras en split, porque ahora de irte el split, a la hora que vas a hacer esto, se te va a levantar la pompa. This is not a good idea when you're gonna do a double leg stretch to open up so wide, because when you're gonna reach for the leg, then you're gonna do rotation like I'm doing, and that's not the best scenario. So do something more sensitive like this. Vamos a hacer algo más sensible, como aquí. Maybe a little bit more. Open your arms. Make sure you can reach for your toes easily. Okay. Now, on the next inhale, you're going to open your arms right here. Peripheral view. Vista periférica. Acá no es buena idea porque también se te abre todo el costado. Acá tengo poder de cerrar el costado. When I bring my arms here, peripheral view, I have absolutely control of my abdominal strength. Now, flex the toes a bit, anchor your hips, inhale. And we're gonna do three divided gallops of exhalation. It looks like this. Thumb of the other arm goes up, arm reaches and you go, curl spine, one, two, three. Inhale, return back to center. Arms peripheral view. Scoop to the belly. The other arm rotates in. Other arm hinges out. And you go and count. Inhale, go up. Three exhales. One, two, three. Hamstring stretch, inhale. Scoop belly, exhale. One, two, three. Inhale. Exhale. One, two, three. Inhale. Exhale. 
one, two, three, inhale. Maybe you're lucky that you can touch this shin, but definitely not your priority. One, two, three, inhale. This even happened naturally, it doesn't happen. Exhale, one, two, three, inhale. You're feeling the burn on your obliques and your twist. Exhale, one, two, three, inhale. Up, one, two, three, in, one, two, three, last, one, two, and three. Inhale, go up. And on the exhale, we go back again to the front part of your mat. Nos regresamos hacia el frente. Técnica bonita, beautiful technique, everybody, please. Now, right here, bring both legs onto the ground. Curl spine, bring the knee in right there. Bring the leg straight, curl, inhale, double leg stretch. Exhalo, con cuidadito me tiro hacia atrás, ahí me quedo. Inhalo, uno, dos, cambio, exhalo, uno, dos. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Neck doesn't move, keep going, you don't bounce. Go with the legs. Head on the ground if it's too much. One, two, one, two. 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 Five. Four. Three. Two. One, inhale, exhale, little bit of momentum with your leg, lift up. Good. Okay, the next one is a little bit challenging. La que sigue un poquito difícil, facing you now with the legs crossed. Place your hands onto the ground, vas a plantar tus manos en el piso. Maybe in the same line with the knees, casi en la misma línea de los rodillas. Open your hands wide, abres tus brazos. Curl spine, scoop spine. Good. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, do traction back. And see if you can lift your legs. Inhale, exhale, uncross. Ooh, jackknife preparation. Even tougher, inhale. Exhale, and last in, and last out. Ah. That look easy. It isn't. Ahora sí veo como las cosas a veces en la pantalla se ven fácil. En la realidad no están nada de fáciles. Te voy a dar side profile de esto. I'm going to give you a side profile of this one so you do it right. And what is important is for you to not do it with spine straight because you can really spasm latissimus dorsi. Lo más importante en esta es que no lo hagas en espina dorsal derechita, si no tienes que hacerlo en scoop, si no te puedes hacer un espasmo en tu espalda. Te enseño. So doing it again, we were right here. The hands were planted into the ground. So I'm not straight. I'm actually inhaling in here. And on the exhalation, I'm going to take a big scoop. Now from that moment, I can do a little bit of traction. Puedo hacer un poquito de tracción. And lift up the legs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And last time in. And down. Exhale. Now open your legs a bit, a little bit on scooping forward bend, 
Go forward, forward, forward and down. Letting your spine contain that nice opening on your back. <sighs> Suction on your belly, a little bit open. <sighs> Scooping into your tummy. <sighs> Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, let's roll up, roll up, roll up. <sighs> Rocking like a ball back and forward or spinal massage. Like this was a twist. The next one is a massage. And again, what happened with uh, flat things that you throw into the ground? i show you what happened. This cushion is flat. Let's see what happens when you throw it to the ground. It just falls. So if you try to do spinal massage or you try to do your rocking back and forward with your spine straight, you're gonna knock the wind out of your lungs. So I highly, highly please recommend it to you to understand that all of this is gonna happen naturally if you curl your spine like the letter C of the alphabet. Te queremos recordar que en estas clases de pilates es súper importante que hagas tu espina dorsal así en redondo. Estamos haciendo pilates, la música está más animadita. We're doing pilates, so the music is a little bit more rhythm, so you capture into it. Okay, good. Now, let's begin going forward. <sighs> Good. When you're ready, you put your legs in front of you. This is a lot of technique right now. Can you observe how the spine is straight? Now you're gonna do the letter C shape of the alphabet and start picking up your legs into seal pose. This is not easy. You're using lots of abs. On the inhale, you fall. Exhale, you return. Inhale, you fall. Exhale, you return. What not to do? Flat, go back. I'm not even gonna show you. I don't wanna suffocate my lungs. But that's what's gonna hurt. So you really need to be scoop. So we go inhale, exhale. Okay? Inhale. Try not to touch the ground. Try not to pop at the end. Inhale, legs don't move. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, some of you are more advanced and you want to move into clapping or crab, you can go más avanzado si se quieren ir a cangrejo y aplaudir, aviéntense unos dos roles, inhalo, one, two, atrás, dos, 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 and up, hold, and rise, scoop, scoop, así en redondito, hold on, hold on, scoop onto the tummy, concentrate, breathe, breathe in one, breathe in two, Breathe in three, take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, let's release into butterfly position. When you go into your butterfly, let's allow the feet to come together, knees open to the side, take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, we're gonna curl and scoop again, rest in your spine. Después de que hiciste ese masaje de espina dorsal, te descansas poquito en mariposa, Rest a little bit into butterfly. <sighs> hmm. Take a deep inhale and on the exhale, roll up, roll up, roll up. Okay. I think a lot of people have undiagnosed hernias 
into the abdomen. Especially speaking, mummies that had really big bellies, twins, or maybe just simply by pregnancy. And a lot of males also for rapid gait went into the abdomen. Roll-ups is an absolute contraindication for people with rectal abdominal diastasis. Hacer roll-ups es una contraindicación para gente que tiene diástasis, una separación entre la pared abdominal, ya sea por embarazos o ya sea también por este, ganar peso muy rápidamente. Not only happens that, that separation of your abdominal wall, in the middle you're going to develop hernias and if you push too much into the hernias it can be borderline dangerous. If you notice that you have a little bit of a hernia coming through your belly, that means you have it, you cannot push. But I'm going to give you an alternative for everybody to do roll-ups. Te voy a dar una alternativa para hacer roll-ups que casi todo el mundo la puede hacer. Los de roll-ups acostados te ponen en peligro si tienes hernias o diástasis. Entonces vamos a subir, we're going to go up. This is a good way if you keep yourself completely into engagement of your abdominal muscles. Let me put the screen up here so you can see me. All right, here we are. Good job. Good. Arms are up. So um, I have it. That's why I'm always so meticulous about teaching it. In my last pregnancy with my son, I really went open. So I want to take care of everybody that has it. But this works well for me. Remember your first position, your heels are together and your toes open in such a way. Right here. The arms are long by your sides and you begin with a nice straight spine. You take a deep inhale, bring your arms up, lift up. And on the exhale, like you're diving in a pool, you're going to do a big suction like I'm belting you on your stomach. And you're going to curl, curl, curl down. You're going to take a deep inhale here. And on the exhale, bottom to top, squeezing in the inner thighs, pelvic floor. Roll up, 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 up. One more time, take a deep inhale, lift up, the hands go together. On the exhale, scoop first into sternum, belly. She never goes tuck to the chest, you actually keep some space there. This is a very healthy way to do roll-ups, take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, you roll up and rise, 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 bottom to top. Last time, inhale, lift, lift, lift. On the exhalation, your curl and scoop, 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 scoop. Imagine I'm belting you right now so the belly doesn't go out. Scoop on tummy. Como si hubiera fajo en tu abdomen. Inhalas aquí sin dejar salir la pancita. Exhalo de abajo hacia arriba otra vez, otra vez, otra vez, otra vez. And stay right in here. Okay. First position. Primera posición. Balancing kicks. Pataditas en balance. These are my absolute favorite when we do them right here. Level one, you can keep your hands right into your waist. Level two, if you want a little bit more work, you open your arms peripheral view as you wish. Of course, it would stone your arms a little bit more, but maybe bring tension into your shoulders. Por ahí si abres aquí, a lo mejor creas un poquito de tensión en tus hombros. Te quedas aquí. Primero vamos a inhalar, a estirar el pie derecho al frente. Stretch your right foot forward into first position and on the exhalation check the side profile so you don't do it wrong you're gonna bring your leg back without never going too far on the arch you maintain your abdomen collected inhale slide the foot forward exhale bring your leg back contain into your tummy remember not going too far 
Now, if you're a little bit more advanced in maintaining this beautiful alignment, I show you again without moving the spine like this, this stays steady, just the leg moves, solo la pierna se mueve, inhalo al frente, arriba, exhalo patada atrás, atrás, inhalo al frente en primera posición, exhalo atrás, atrás, inhalo al frente, primera posición, Exhalo atrás, atrás, inhalo al frente, exhale behind you, kick, feel the legs working, inhale, exhale, inhale, last time exhale, inhale forward, bring your hands on your waist, stay here, turn your hip in, Mandas la cadera otra vez, rotación interna. Subes poquito más, inhalo. Exhalo, extiendo. Cinco, inhalo. Exhale. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straight. All the work of the thigh. Inhale. Exhale, don't lean back. Inhale. Exhale. And go down. <sighs> Fuego en las piernas, fire on the legs, good job, let's do the other side, hacia el otro lado, de acuerdo, brazos, vista periférica, arms, peripheral view, this is not peripheral view, I have no idea what my hands are doing, aquí, 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 aquí ya veo mis manitas, esto es y de aquí puedes abrazar, from here you can hug your abdomen in, first position, primera posición, aquí como... El skinny jean fajándote la panza. Your skinny jeans tucking the navel in. Showing you first the easier variation. Eyes and drishti. Inhalo. Tu pie en primera posición hacia el frente. Sin irte muy hacia atrás. No buscas esto, sino mantener tu alineamiento. La patadita. Inhalo al frente. Exhalo atrás. Inhale, you can kick now nice and tall. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhalo. Exhalo, inhalo, exhalo, inhalo, exhalo, inhale forward, stay here, turn your head in, sin irte hacia atrás, te levantas, doblas, inhalo, extensión, perdón, inhalo en flexión, Exhalo, extensión. Inhale, flexion. Exhale, extension. Inhale, flexion. Exhale, extension. Inhalo. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Last time, exhale. And in. And out. Now bring the leg down slowly and shake your legs in front of you. Relax your legs, move the hips a bit. Mueve, relajas piernas. Super good to work balancing pilates. Buenísimo trabajar pilates en balance. Now right here. Stand to the front of your mat. Te paras al frente de tu tapete. A little bit of footwork, I'm actually gonna go into the floor. I do balancing way better on the ground. You can fold your mat for a second. Get into first position, te quedas en primera posición. Inhale, arms go in front of you, brazos en frente tuyo. Exhale, roll the shoulders in. Right here in first position, just inhale, lift up. 
exhale. So if you weren't reformer, try to think of footwork against the bar, trying to simulate something similar, although here is more difficult as you don't have the bed behind shell. Inhalo. Exhalo. Como si estuvieras en reformer, pero sin reformer. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Squeeze the inner thighs. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now slowly keep your arms up if you're not tired. Change your feet to second. Cambias tus pies a segunda. Aquí. Inhalo again to the balls of your feet. Exhale down. This is buenísimo para tus pies, tendones y ligamentos. Inhale, great for your feet, tendons and ligaments. Exhale down. Calf muscle, Achilles tendon. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Good. Now release your arms for a moment. Shake your arms. Sueltas tus brazos. Now, the last option, I wanted to give you side profile so you don't overdo or overbend your knees. On the next inhale, you find your postures and your arms forward. And put the shoulders down as you exhale. Inhale, center, you go up. Exhale, you sit a little bit down. In balancing. Inhale, up again. Exhale, down. I rush a little in the exhale because I was looking at you, not looking at my drishti. Now let's focus on drishti. You saw it once. Inhalamos. Exhalamos. Te sientas. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Still in balance. Exhale, sit. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhalo, arriba. Exhalo, siéntate, siéntate. Inhalo. Oops. Exhale. Last two. Inhalo. Exhalo. Shaky legs, shaky legs, normal. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Strong to your body. Exhale. Sit down, 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 down. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Good job. Shake on your legs. Relax your legs. Now, the ultimate test of fitness. A friend of mine teached it to me yesterday. I hope I don't fall in front of you. I thought it was something fun I will kick today. Esta prueba de balance me la, me la dio un amigo, Alfredo Beliz, and said, if you can cross your entire body, with your fingers crossed, that means you are in not only into great shape, but ideal weight. So I tried it yesterday and it kind of work. I have to end up with my arms behind in mudra. So I'm gonna try it today. And where you can have fun with this in home. First of all, you curl, your scoop, 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 and then try one leg at the time to balance, go through the leg without letting it go. Now go down, balance in one leg, and try to go to the other side. And now the hands need to go through your hips. That was the toughest part. All right, I did it. Ah. <laughs> and then rise up. Of course, this is not Pilates. This is just little bit fun moments that we can hard to break up the ice. Now the next one is really good one too for balancing strength and flexibility. I dream of Genie, I do that a lot. So right here, at the front of your mat, al frente de tu tapete, we put the arms of I dream of Genie. Vamos a poner tus brazos aquí. Cross the ankles, vas a cruzar los tobillos. 
You're going to send your arms forward, and then you're going to sit down, 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 down. Good. Take another inhale. In one lift, exhale. Up, 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 up. Do that five times. Inhale. Exhale. Sit down, 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 down. Inhalo. En una sola, exhalo. Balance arriba. Tres más. Inhalo. Careful with knees. Exhalo. Abajo, abajo, abajo. Inhalo. Exhalo. Arriba, 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 arriba. Inhalo. Exhalo. Bajo, 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 bajo. Y termino aquí. And I finish right here. Wonderful job, everybody. Let's do a little bit of a side stretching. We have not done any side stretching today. So we're going to do it in cross-legged position. Lo vamos a hacer en piernitas cruzadas. Sit on the end of the cushion if that helps you. One foot in front of the other, right here. Bring your hands on the ground. Take a deep inhale. Bring your right arm up. And on the exhale, go into your side stretch. And remember, if that hurts, you can always bring your hand into your waist and you can work it right there. If your arm is healthy, you can work here. As you wish. Good. Breathe. Traction. And feel the arm going over. You can look up to the ceiling if you want to. Take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, you rise up, 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 and bring your hand down, finishing with cooling off and side stretching. Otro lado, other side, inhale, you bring now the left arm up, and on the exhale, start walking your hand behind you, sorry, by your side. Traction, doing traction, what it means traction is to not be leaning this way, is with the weight of the hand, you push your body towards this side todo el cuerpo se va hacia este lado y mandas tu brazo sobre el oído if that hurts you can always bring your hand here or open chest breathe finishing with a nice stretch to your abdomen terminado con un estiramiento rico a tu abdomen On the next inhale, bring yourself back up, lift up. And on the exhale, you're gonna put your hands down by your knees and doing a little bit of circles with your neck. The first part, remember, we did our back sessions. It's absolutely normal that if you're not used to tomorrow, you may feel tight in here. La primera fue mucho de cuello, entonces hace circulitos pequeños con tu cuello. Now circle the neck to the other direction. Good. Now bring your hands by your sides. Inhale, open, looking up where the wall and the ceiling meet. Exhale, curl in a spoon, release your arms. Inhale, open, you can add like a butterfly arm. Exhale, do a suction like a jellyfish movement. Brazos de mariposa, abre. Exhalo, movimiento de mal agua. Succión, succión, succión. And last time, breathe. All the way up, all the way up. And on the exhale. We release, come off the cushion, curl back, let the legs go in front of you, and we salute, bravo, finish with seal pose as we always finish in this day. Ya acabamos nuestra clase de una hora, we finish our hour long class, it was so wonderful. Underneath this video, you have the link to your donations to Drishti Center. Aquí abajo hay un link para donaciones para Drishti Center. Justo aquí. Haces el scroll y ahí está el mensaje. You scroll down and the message is there. 
These donations that you give to Dreshti Center are helping us to COVID-19 suspension of our studio and our nine teachers and staff. Estas donaciones ayudan a nuestro estudio durante la suspensión de COVID-19 y a nuestros maestros que colaboramos en ella. If you feel that the material was compelling, share with your friends, it's an open channel. And thank you so much. The more subscribers, the more donations, and the more time we can survive during these hard times. See you next time. Pilatinis, thank you. Good effort. Bye-bye.